creating a goal list. Hello, you all. I'm Diana Brienne, and I got to thinking about the importance of writing down our goals. For me, I write down all of my goals. I update them on a regular basis, and I put them up on my bathroom mirror so that I will see them several times a day, and they will remind me of the direction that I want to take. I put my goals in priority, and I put my goals from big to small. And my small goals are very important to me, and my big goals are too. Generally speaking, big goals take time, and smaller goals we can often achieve in a, in a short amount of time. And so, uh, for me, I write down my goals. I think that's very, very important to write our goals down and to put them up where we can see them and to regularly look at them and to make steps, no matter how small, each day towards those goals. And the bigger the step that we take, often the bigger the results and the quicker the results that we will see. Not always, but often. And so I take at least small steps towards my goals, if not big steps. And I find that that is so very important to do, to build that momentum. When we step out towards our visions, our goals, our dreams, or our solutions, often they will begin to move towards us as for each step that we take. We build momentum. We create new ideas and often opportunities come our way that even perhaps we didn't expect simply because we stepped out towards the goals that we wanted. I'm always refining my goals. There's times that I throw all of my goals away and I start over. And when I start over, sometimes I put my previous goals back on the list, but they're more refined. And sometimes the same exact goals go back on and sometimes I put all brand new goals on that list. And it creates momentum in my life. And not all goals have to have a destination. Sometimes we journey on a goal simply to enjoy that goal in the present moment that we're doing it. Other goals have a destination to it. It has um, a, a standard that at the end of that goal, when we've achieved it, we have something to show for it. But not all goals are like that. Some goals just simply get us going and moving in a right direction. So what happens when you don't know what goals you want or you're unsure or you're uncertain? I believe in putting down goals that we are certain about, even if it's the smallest goal that you can think of. Because once we start out with one goal, we often add more goals. Now, I try not to overload my goal list. I have different kinds of lists, a priority goal list, and then I have a non-priority goal list. That means it's kind of an extra goal list for when I have time, if I have time. And even that is sort of in priority. And so we can have all kinds of different lists. And I think a lot of times, people don't set goals because they're not sure what they want. And also, I think that they feel like perhaps they will fail. Well, you know what? I believe that in life, if we're making strides to, towards our future, often we will make mistakes. Often we, we, we can fail at something. But if we never try, then we're likely never going to succeed at very much, if at all, anything. So I believe in trying. I believe that it's sort of a numbers game. The more we try, the more likely it is that we're going to succeed at one thing or the other. Even if we don't succeed at everything, we may succeed at one or two things, and that may be all it takes to change our lives for the better. And so I believe in writing down our goals and always having goals, visions, dreams, and solutions for our lives to create the very best life that we can. At age 62, which is my age, I am always creating new goals. I'm always stepping back out towards something that's positive that will have meaning for my life. From my house to yours, God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.